Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third boy. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third boy. In our today's video, we will talk about how to simplify rational algebraic expression. So before we start simplifying this kind of rational algebraic expression, review mo tayo what is the meaning of rational algebraic expression. Rational algebraic expression is a quotient of two polynomials. Or in other words, it is a fraction with a polynomial numerator and a polynomial denominator. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here item number one, or example number one, and example number two. And later on, I will give you two more examples for us to simplify rational algebraic expression. So basically, ito yung una natin kasi ito yung pinakamadali sa examples ko. So the first is 35x to the 5th power over 49x squared. How do we simplify this kind of expression na naka-fraction? Karamihan kasi sa atin, natatakot. Diba? So unang tingin pa lang, oh, this one is difficult. So hindi ko to try. So this time, ituturo ko sa inyo how to overcome yung ganong klase ng fear. So we have here this example. So... Kung ako mag-simplify dito, I can do this mentally. And my answer is simply 5x cubed over 7. That is my answer. So, paano nangyari yan? So, I will give you two examples or two ways on how to simplify number one. So, basically, ang ginawa ko dito is that I will try to simplify the fraction 35 and 49 and the simplest form of this fraction is 5 over 7 and we still have the variables which is x to the 5th power tapos meron pa tayong x squared by loss of exponents again by loss of exponents I can subtract exponent 5 and 2 and 5 minus 2 is 3 and this will give me 5x cubed over 7. So, pareha sila. This is the first method na pwede natin gamitin. How about, sir, yung second method naman po? Yung second method natin is by factoring, uh, by getting the prime factors of the numerator and the denominator. So, mag-start mo na tayo sa 35. Ang 35 natin, the prime factors of that are 5 times 7 and then for the x variable you have x times x times x times x times x over as for your denominator the prime factors are 7 times 7 and then for x squared that is x times x so kapansin niya meron tayong mga common in which we can cancel out 7 and 7 and then for the variables guys you can cancel out x, 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 and x. So what remains here is you have 5, and then you have 3 x's. x times x times x is x to the third power over your 7. So as you can see, even, even ganito ito tong first method natin, or yung second method natin, I can still get the correct answer, which is 5x cubed over 7. Okay, so let's move on with item number two. Now for item number two, we are given 2x plus 4 over x squared minus 4. In which, dito naman sa number na to, or sa example na to, we will incorporate factoring techniques. For number two, I will apply common monomial factoring. For the denominator, I will apply difference of two squares, wherein when I factor out the numerator, it will give me the factors of 2 times x plus 2. My common monomial factoring over the factors of your denominator by difference of two squares, it will give us x minus 2 times x plus 2. And as you can see guys, meron tayong common in which meron tayong x plus 2 sa ibabaw at meron tayo x plus 2 sa denominator. Pwede natin siyang i-cancel out since they are the same. And what will remain here 
is that we have 2 over x minus 2 as our simplified form. This is the answer for item number 2. Now, in the next part of our video, I'll be giving you two more examples para mas ma-master niyo yung pag-simplify ng rational algebraic expression. Let us continue with item number 3. So we have here the rational algebraic expression which is x squared minus 49 over 2x minus 14. Now the key here is to factor out the numerator and denominator. The factors of your, num of your numerator are x minus 7 and x plus 7 x plus 7. We're applying difference of two squares and for your denominator by common monomial factoring this will give us 2 times x minus 7. And as you can see guys, parehas yung numerator natin which is x minus 7 cancel out. This one is also cancelled out kasi same sila because ang ano kasi dyan, ang konsepto kasi dyan, parang ano lang naman 2 over 2 in which equal to 1. If you have x minus 7 over x minus 7, that is also equal to 1. So, no need to write 1. So, kinakansal na lang natin yan. So, ang sagot natin ngayon for number 3 ay simpleng x plus 7 over 2. Ito din pinasagot natin for the third example. Let's move on with item number 4. For number 4, we have x squared minus 3x plus 2 over x squared plus 5x minus 6. So kung hindi niyo pa alam yung pag-factor out ng trinomials, meron tayong video para before niyo gawin to, ay matutunan niyo muna yung pag-factor out ng trinomials. So we have here x squared minus 3x plus 2, x squared plus 5x minus 6. The factors of your numerator are x minus 2 times x minus 1. Sir, paano po ba pinactor out yung ating numerator? If you have this one, if you have x squared minus 3x plus 2, kunin mo lang yung product nito, 1 times 2, that is 2, and kunin yung factors ng 2 para maging negative 3, and the factors are negative 3, sorry, negative 2, and negative 1. So, yan ay nagiging x minus 2 times x minus 1. So, yun yung factors natin. And for your denominator naman guys, you have the factors as x plus 6 and then x minus 1. Sir, paano po nangyari x minus 1? Kasi x squared plus 5x minus 6 1 times negative 6 is negative 6 at hanap tayo ng factors sa negative 6 that can give us the sum of negative of positive 5 and that is 6 times negative 1 kaya factors niya ay x plus 6 x minus 1 and yung mismo yung factors natin so ngayon, balikin natin meron tayong common, you can cancel it out cancel it out so the correct answer or the simplified form of item number 4 is x squared over x plus 6. This is the answer for item number 4. Yun guys, I hope na natuto kayo sa lesson natin on how to simplify rational algebraic expressions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Don. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!